guys and welcome back to my channel if you haven't been here already but you like what you see don't forget to subscribe and give this video a little like as well today's video i am going to share with you because i've done a lot of research i have done a lot of research for the 2024 fashion trend forecast i have a list of 10 of the top fashion trends for 2024 i am so excited to film this i'm so excited to film it but this is my second time recording it i had a little mishap with my camera this is a new one my camera broke last week on me whenever i recorded this filmed the footage corrupted files or something and then my camera just kicked the bucket so i had to try and find a new camera and the one that i'm filming on at the moment is my canon gx7 mark ii did my research i very close to buying the sony but it just wasn't i just didn't feel it in my heart so i ended up getting the canon gx7 mark ii but it was very hard to find because tiktok i think has made it go viral so it was sold out nearly everywhere thankfully i did get my hands on it but this has meant that it's been like a week and a half later until i can record this video so i'm very very sorry that it's a late come in 2024 forecast trend forecast but i think that i have nailed the top 10 ones that you're going to see for this year now obviously um you don't have to go out and buy any of these trends i always say that if you are thinking of like dipping in a trend but you're just not 100 percent sure maybe go to Vinted or depop or a second hand shop the, the trend that you want but obviously a cheaper price only wear the trend that you feel most comfortable in don't feel that you have to wear it if you don't think it's you i very much will not be wearing some of these trends being fashionable is totally to do with feeling confident and comfortable in the things that you wear anyway let's get into this video fashion trend number one which i'm excited for is cinched waists now if you have an hourglass figure this is just going to help like kind of create that more feminine look and help accentuate your curves and really show that like the woman figure is something to be appreciative of now, if you don't have those curves and you have kind of more of a straight figure this fashion trend is actually because it's working with the clothes it's going to give you the illusion of curves so if you're somebody that doesn't have the curves and always wanted to have the curves this is going to be great for you because you're going to have these jackets which i've already seen come in cinch blazers and actually i'm wearing i'm wearing a, uh, a cardigan so it has a slight cinch waist where it comes in here and then ducks out again so it's all about trying to create more of that feminine kind of style. You could just go and put on a normal blazer and then get a belt and like really tighten the belt at the waist to give you the illusion of like a cinched waist. I've done it before. Um, I actually did it yesterday with a blazer that I had and I absolutely loved it. H&M also have a blazer as well and it's got a tie belt and you can tie it around to give the illusion of this cinched waist. But I am just so excited for the amount of belts that are going to come in to play because these are going to be used to create the illusion of a cinched waist as well as having these jackets available as well. So cinched waist is going to be the trend that I'm definitely following this year. And I'm I'm gonna try and leave some like links of items maybe that I've found on the high street down below for you guys in case you guys want to invest in some of these trends okay next one is a trend that everybody should have something in their wardrobe so they can obviously create this trend I hope everyone has something in this in their wardrobe for this but it's classic and minimal so the classics are more or less your staples most people should have and I well I actually I didn't have many staples years ago I've built up my staple wardrobe this is just staples and minimal staples at that so it's just like a clean cut t-shirt but like a really well made t-shirt now cause do some amazing t-shirts I will link them below as well and this is another way to like actually utilize your wardrobe quite a bit because you can mix and match with a lot of things really crisp white t-shirt plain black pencil skirt a really good pair of fitted straight leg trousers or wide leg trousers straight leg jeans just really good items that you can literally put minimal classic looks together so looks that will never die this is going to be like a 90s redux no cutouts we're not doing cutouts logos are out logos are not a big thing it's not about showing off it's a quiet luxury it's about being sort of having expensive like a quiet expensive taste We're putting really minimal outfit together with good quality garments but it's more of that quiet luxury without screaming that i'm wearing brands which i love i love that we don't have to like feel like we have to show off with the logos what we're wearing so i like this quiet minimal luxury next trend is polo club welcome to the polo club is kind of like preppy mixed with horse riding that's kind of how i would put it together it's not about being over the top preppy school girl like it's about being classic 
and everlasting with this polo trend and making it look chic and tasteful. So it's, it's kind of like your classic minimal mixed with preppy and then you get polo. Again, it is about the sort of quiet luxury or this luxurious way of dressing. It's going to be tops like your polo tops, basically Ralph Lauren kind of tops with like your phoenix with collars, like the button downs with the collars. Pleated skirts are in as well, little mini pleated skirts. Now I will not probably, I say I won't jump on trend, but I do have one black pleated skirt in my wardrobe. Wore about twice, so I know it's not going to be something I'm going to wear all the time, but at least I can bring this out for this trend. And that brings me on to the next trend, which is high waist. Now, high waist, a lot of people are going to love that this is back on trend. I don't feel like it ever fell off trend. I feel like as much as we try to embrace the low waist, a lot of us, probably would prefer a high waist over a low waist and um, probably dipped into the low waist but still had our high waist trousers that we were still bringing out. I don't think anybody cut out the high waist completely. There's a lot of designers had a lot of high waist trousers but they weren't just they weren't just high waist they were super high waisted. Jonathan Anderson he did a lot of super high waisted trousers I think in Loewe um, in that catwalk but I'm so glad to see that back. Their belt coming into play as well. That's really going to go a lot better with high waisted trousers than low waisted trousers. Felt like we kind of lost that femininity with the low waist trousers. I know there'll be a lot of people completely disagree with me and they love the low waist. I, I'm not saying I hated it completely because I do have a couple of pairs of trousers that I gravitated towards. But I think I could, if I had to choose between high waist and low waist, I would definitely go for high waist. Again, it's probably to do with I have uh, short legs, five foot one, I need all the height I can get. I find that whenever I have high waisted trousers, it gives me the illusion of being taller. So the high waist trousers help with that a lot. Okay, we've got 80s fashion. 80s fashion, I couldn't be happier about that. That's one of the trends I've like wanted to see come back again for so many years. I just love the power shoulders. I love the power shoulders and things, probably because I lack, I lack shoulders. <laughs> I lack shoulders. So I can't wait to get these big shoulder pad, um, padded jackets and blazers. And I don't know if you can put them into knits, but like, I just can't wait to have the structure. Classic 80s reminds me of a real classic suit, power suit with the big shoulders, cinched waist, which goes back to our cinched waist trend. And again, high-waisted trousers, like everything about 80s to me was very feminine, but very like power feminine. I remember looking back at photos of my mum back in the 80s and the way she used to dress, even my dad. And I was like, you guys look really cool. I loved how they dressed, even to today. I still look back at those photos and I still think they dressed so, so much better than, definitely much better than the 90s. Me, that grew up through the 90s fashion trends or the naughty fashion trends and I feel like we had some really awkward moments but then I look back at my mum and dad and they just look so cool and effortless. I never cringed at that fashion. I loved their fashion in the 80s. I still cringe at the fashion in the 90s and naughties. And then it brought it was brought back the last couple of years and I just I tried to love it and I just uh, no. I just I just couldn't get on board with it. It's just not for me. Um, but the fact that the 80s is coming back into play again, I am so happy about it. Next trend, I have named it as arts and crafts because it's like, it'll cover an umbrella of trends slightly. A lot of texture coming through. So in the catwalks um, for the 2024 fashion trends, there's been a lot of texture through feathers, through fringing, like rose details, like roses was a big one as well, actually. 3D roses, texture fabrics. Um, little bits of feathers poking through, not like the full feather dress. There were some full feather dresses, but like little the little snippets of little bit of like feathers poking through here and there. Ribbons, little ribbons through the clothes. A lot of people wore ribbons last year in their hair. I think that's another trend still to come into this year as well, is ribbons through the hair. I'm nearly sure everybody has worn a ribbon in their hair this year. And then roses, but roses will be seen not only like in 3D textured kind of way, but they'll be seen in prints as well. I'm not a floral girl, so it kind of reminds me of florals. But I know roses in particular is a big um, key fashion trend that's supposed to come in. I don't see myself wearing it. I don't see myself wearing the textured arts and craftsy bits. Maybe the feathers, fringing, it's not really for me. I've tried it a couple of times. It's, it's just not my, my style. Maybe an accessories, maybe like a little rose necklace or something, possibly. I just don't see me wearing it in the clothing. And I'm not really a big massive prince gal, so I don't really see me wearing 
roses print wise either are you a big floral fan do you see yourself wearing any of these trends so far that i've mentioned okay this next trend i detest i literally no 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 but this is a personal reason why i don't like it it is short shorts short shorts are just not for me okay i've already complained about having short ass legs and i just feel that they do not complement my figure but saying that they look absolutely stunning on hailey bieber on kendall jenner I haven't really seen any of my friends or anybody wear the short shorts yet. I do know they're more of like an evening wear rather than day wear. And I haven't seen anybody out and about wear them. I feel like you need to have a real confidence to wear the short shorts. And no doubt do I have that some people out there will completely pull these off, make them look amazing. But I also think that they have to be done really well that they don't look like knickers. Because essentially they're that short the short shorts are that short they look like knickers or pants tights will make them look a little bit more elegant like oversized jumpers or a big oversized coat on top kind of to make them look a lot more luxurious just feel like this trend is going to be marmite for some people i think some people with the shorts shorts are going to love it and i think some people are going to be like me it's going to be marmite and absolutely hate it so skipping on to the next trend because that one we will not wear this year well i won't wear it this year okay for me this is a really boring trend and everybody probably has this. I have two white dresses. So white dresses are another trend. It's kind of like for me, what I want to call this one is the bridal trend because this is the perfect time to be on trend with the white dresses. If you're a bride or bride to be, then you can wear as much white stuff and like literally be seen as trendy because uh, if they're going to bring in lots of white dresses, there's going to be a lot more for the brides to choose from. Uh, for their hem parties for the lead up to the wedding a lot of people are gonna love white dresses if you don't have a white dress in your wardrobe this year what are you doing and if i cannot find a white dress to link down below i am doing a very bad job so i will try and find maybe three top three white dresses i think would be lovely for summer okay the next trend is leopard print now i don't love le leopard print I, well I did, I did whenever I was younger, I used to love leopard print. I'm not the, a massive fan of it, I have tried to look up little bits and pieces here and there of leopard print clothes to see if I would like dip into this trend. I'm still on the fence, I'm not really sure. Maybe a nice leopard print cardigan but I feel like you're either going to love leopard print or hate it. I'm not a printy girl anyway. But I feel like this trend kind of comes away and it's kind of a lot opposite from the quiet luxury because I sometimes find leopard print myself very hard to style and make it look really luxurious and rich and chic looking. Um, it's more of a playful print in my eyes. So like maybe mixing it with something a bit more luxurious to try and give it more of that rich or luxe vibe. Try and implement this trend in accessories before I go full in with the clothes, shoes, a hair bobble, little bits and pieces in accessories before I go full in wearing like leopard print head to toe. And the final trend of this year, I'm just going to talk about colour. A little bit like last summer, there wasn't really many colours and it was more neutral. It's again, it's the same thing again where we're seeing that it's um, more of a quiet way of dressing where it's not bold and colourful pieces coming out. So the colours that are in this season are red and apricot. I don't think we've seen apricot peach for a long time but those are the two colors that are in so if you haven't bought yourself anything red yet and want to try lovely red cardigan from Suzanne and other stories and mango had one too so things like that for the spring summer would be nice can like even ballet flats ballet flats are still in and they're very comfy I absolutely love my ballet flat and they're still continuing on for this year to be very much in trend as well i will probably still maybe try a little purple maybe a little pink it's nice to play around with colors if you know that you suit them i love red and i feel like red never i feel like red never goes out of fashion because you always have your red lipstick to play about with and like match it with your shoes so it's not a bad color to dive into i think it'll always be in your wardrobe and you can always bring it out like at christmas time even if you didn't wear it through the year you can always wear it at christmas time because red is a very festive color so again, it's not one that's going to go to waste if you do fall into the red trend. So guys, that is it. That is my top 10 trends for 2024. I have to say from my video last year, I quite enjoy these trends more than last year's. But I feel because we're kind of coming out slightly of that 90s vibe that I obviously detest, as you can tell. And we're heading into 
like a different route with the 80s fashion but we're we still have a little bit of 90s but we're slowly moving away from it and i'm i'm happy about it i am so happy i love that one of the trends is obviously working with our staples in our wardrobe so that we still can feel on trend from stuff that we already have which is good for the bank too these are obviously what i find if there's any you think that i've kind of missed as a good top 10 let me know and how do you feel about them are you feeling better about these this year's 2024 trends or did you prefer last year's i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you in the next one bye